Hi gorgeous girls, how are you? It's Adele from Get Gorgeous. I'm a nutritionalist, an exercise professional and I also like working on your mindset. So I haven't done a live video for a while because I've been away and I want to work my tummy muscles so I'm going to moan and groan. Maybe you will join me. Moaning and groaning. <laughs> Let's take a seat and place your hands behind your knees. Draw your belly button towards your spine and slowly roll halfway back and climb up. Now the way that I teach Pilates is three levels. So this would be your level one. Hands behind your knees, giving yourself a little bit of support. Opening the lower back up gently. I hope that you've done some running around today so you're feeling warm before you start your exercise. Okay, that's level one. Level two, take away the support. Keep concentrating on that deep abdominal. Pulling the belly button to spine, bracing your abs, whatever phrase works for you, but connect with your tummy muscles so that your back is not taking all of the load. Start to add another level, lengthen the legs. Roll back, pause, lift one arm, lower the other. <gasps> That's exciting. Give yourself a breather. So when you start to roll back, that's your deep abdominal. When you lift your arm, that is your six pack. Hey, come forward and roll down. Three abdominal muscles. Deep abdominal, you tighten it. Nobody else will do it for you. You have to do it. Pull that belly button to spine, drop your shoulders. And the exciting thing about the six pack, the rectus abdominis, is that you simply need to do the exercise. You simply need to lift your arm and the six pack will work. But not so for the stabilizer, the deep abdominal. You have to pull it in, you have to control. Pull the belly button to spine, engage the pelvic floor. Let's do that two more times. Do you remember your levels? Do you remember level one? Hands behind your knee. Level two was straight arms and this is mega level three. <laughs> Rest. So we've done two abdominals, let's do the third. Go back behind your knee, roll back and turn to one side, that's the obliques. Turn to the other side. Climb up onto your sit bones. Roll back, open your arm. Open your arm. Let's make this as graceful and as beautiful as possible. Glide with your movement, with your breath. Breathe out. Level two, straight arms, straight legs. Breathe out. So it's the rotation that you're looking for. The turn from the waist that activates the obliques. Turning right through the spine and looking behind you. How's that working for you? Can you give me a couple more? Hands behind your knees if you're not comfortable. And your breath will tell you how comfortable you are. If you're holding your breath, then you know you're working too hard. The boat pose, so this is the kind of the level three. <laughs> you don't have to do this. One arm floats back. The other arm floats back. So I haven't got as much rotation here. So I'm not working my obliques quite as hard but I sure am working my deep abdominal. Shall we try it with no arms? Reach, return, reach, return. I'm going to do four more. If you just stop the video and you're just laughing at the moment, or are you trying it with me? Are you having a go? 
Have you got the shake in the tummy muscles? Isn't that satisfying? <laughs> Good, and the other side. Did I miscount? Did I add another one extra? Oh, shame. Good, let's stretch. Let's recover. Hands to feet. And then fingers face your bum. Lift your chest and open up. Explore this stretch. Move from bottom cheek to bottom cheek. Find out what's going on in your tummy muscles, where you need to stretch. You ready to lie down? I should enjoy a little cocoa. So I've got a block, you can use a towel, anything that helps your neck to line up with your shoulder. I think this one's a little bit high, but it's a pretty colour. <laughs> so level one, knee over hip, tummy muscles tight, engage that deep abdominal, and lower the leg, toe taps. We all love a toe tap, it's the mainstay of Pilates, but it's so easy to get wrong. What happens is people tighten their thighs. If you're a big crossfitter or you do a lot of walking or running, you're used to using your quads, so the thighs take over. The legs are loose. The other issue that people do is they arch their back, they lift and open their back. So, as I said earlier, Pull your tummy in, keep it strong, and make the power come from there, ribs down. So what we did in Pilates school is we learned to take our thumb to our ribs, little finger to hips, and keep that still. Level two, push your back to the floor, lift the second leg, now watch this, let go of your back. Press your belly tight, front leg, back leg. You can let go of the arms when you're happy, Chin to chest, back of neck long, breathe out, lift the leg. So the secret, and it takes time, is to make the legs loose. They are just heavy weights, and they're working on the fulcrum, your deep abdominal. They're hanging off your tummy muscle. They're hanging off your tummy, not your back. This is an abdominal exercise. Fantastic. We add the arms for a level three. Opposite arm goes away. Breathe out to lift. Yes, you can use hand weights. Good question. If you've got them, grab them. No hand weights? Pick up the cat. <laughs> See if you can hold and lift. And remember, even though your arms and legs are going, this is all about your beautiful tummy. Two more. One last one. Good, now what happens with those toe taps is the hip flexors get tight. So I would generally add the one leg stretch afterwards. Both hands, front shin, back leg, point the toes. Return. Really important part of the exercise, pointing the toes. I get a lot of people in class who cramp in the toes because all the blood is pooling around your core, so your extremities get cold. Wear your socks. Wear your socks if you worry about cramp. Stretch the leg and feel it run right up the front of your thigh, right through the front of the hip. Enjoy what you do. Love and know what you're doing is really improving your circulation. It's improving the shape and the tone of your legs, creating a longer, leaner shape. You're teasing those muscles out. Back is neutral, it's not arching. Level two, hands behind your head, elbows on the floor. Lift your chest, you see a lot of this. I don't like it, I'm not doing it. Open your chest. And just taking your hands behind your head is going to make your tummy work harder. Are you ready for level three? Always. Here it is. Lift, turn. Look how beautifully open those elbows are. Shoulder comes across to me. Shoulder. Let me hear you breathe out. 
as you come across. Pilates breathing, breathe out on the effort. So this would be the effort, getting you up off the floor. Good, so let me know how many times a week you do this little workout, three, four times a week, even three, four times a day. <laughs> All right, maybe not. But let me know how you get on. Can we do two more together? Other side. One last one. Good work. Thank you for joining me. Lovely having you here. Stretch out. Arms above your head. Stretch your tummy muscles. A little sphinx stretch to finish. Forearms on the floor. Feet relaxed. Hips on the floor. Pubic bone on the floor and lift your chest. Perfect. Push up onto your hands and knees. Tuck your tailbone and your bottom under and stretch your tummy. Keep going and stretch. Fantastic, really good, lovely. So if you want to join me for some healthy challenges, you can do the water challenge, you could do the walking challenge, or you could do the 10 day Pilates based tummy challenge. The link is on the vlog, so have a look, and I look forward to working with you soon. Bye.